Hey guys, what up here, and welcome to World of Outlaws Dirt Racing Career Mode. I'm amazed that the videos I've been posting about this game have done as well as they have. I just kind of expected, or I didn't really know what to expect, but I guess, I guess I really never thought I'd be here making a career mode, but it's kind of fun. I did a little bit of it off camera just to kind of get a feel for it. I've seen a couple other people do it, and it looked pretty fun, so I, we'll... You know, take our hand at it. Um, the last time I did a career mode for Monster Games with a dirt racing one was the Tony Stewart Sprint Racing one. That was back in 2019? 2020? I think it was 2020, so... Um, it's been a little bit. So, uh... Yeah, there's really... Uh, we'll just, just... We'll just jump straight into it and... You know, go from there and... Yeah. It, we're gonna try our best. I'm, uh, we're gonna probably suck, so... I'm ready. For, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the suckitude. But before I jump into it, big shout out to my two two Patreon people as well as my YouTube members who support my channel. Again, you guys keep keep me doing what I've been doing for so many years now. Really appreciate it. If you want to be a part of it, you can. Am I forcing you? Probably. I, I don't know. But without further ado, we'll get in the career and all that good stuff. Dirt track racing is rooted in local tracks all across America. Every successful driver has been a local hometown hero at some point, and then moved up to regional events and ultimately into the national level with the World of Outlaws. I think it's uh, really important at the local level to you know, build your fan base, interact with your fans, interact with the local community. Uh, you know, it's very important to you know, be learning and, and try to become that hometown hero. Obviously, as you move into the regional level, uh, you got to earn respect. Uh, you got to win races outside of your hometown. Once you're at the national level, you have a lot more people relying on you. Uh, it becomes a lot more of a job. You know, you have to have a lot of mental toughness. Uh, it's a grind out here. It's easy to say that you want to go race with the outlaws, but when you pack your bag and you load your trailer with stuff and you head out on the road, um, it's like a beatdown. It's uh, probably one of the toughest things physically, mentally, financially, all of the above. And you get run down when you're a weekly racer or you can pick and choose. You get to go home if things aren't right. You hit the reset button. Uh, when you're outlaw tough, there's no reset button. There, there's When it starts, there's no stopping. My main mentors growing up through racing was my dad. You know, he was always there with me through go-karts and then you know as I got a little bit older I leaned on you know Casey Kane quite a bit. A sponsorship is obviously really important in racing. Um, I've been fortunate to have some great sponsors along the way. One key to, to running a successful race team is obviously the people that you have around you. It all starts with a great crew chief, great tire guys, and you gotta have great marketing people to help pull it all together so it's important to have a great team around you. When you dream of being in this sport uh, as a child, you just dream about being a sprint car driver. And then when you become a sprint car driver, you dream of being an outlaw and you race them with the, the greats that there are, the, the Steve Kinders, the Sammy Swindells. You never really can put to the ground the fact that maybe you're gonna be uh, in that position one day where you're one of those guys. Now it's your turn to take your shot. Your goal is to build up a solid reputation sign sponsorship and continue to grow your organization all while winning lots of races but no matter what path you take in your career your ultimate goal is to become a world of outlaws series champion good luck out there we're all rooting for you that was pretty damn cool i really like how it ties into the crew mode and all that good stuff it's it was really nice um so uh, we got team branding i don't know what to really go with um, uh, <laughs> spicy aces. I, I kind of like that one. We're gonna, I think we're gonna go with that. It's, that that sounds pretty, it's pretty funny, so. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. That sounds funny. So, I think now we're gonna be going into the, uh, couple of just, uh, basic stuff of setting the, um, I guess the groundwork or getting some stuff built. I don't know. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Our driver name. Uh, this is kind of similar to the World of Outlaws uh, 2002 one from Ratbag, but we're going to go with George Suprick, which is a uh, uh, 
friend of our family's for a long time. That was a local sprint car driver. So uh, we'll be uh, honoring him. Still alive. So my McDickler. But yeah, he, uh, he he pretty badass. So we're going to be modeling this whole career mode off of him. He is the third. Oh, that, not, not, not one I, 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 there we go. So, and I don't know what to do as far as a, an outfit is concerned. We'll just go with basic white. He certainly is male. And with that, um, we'll just jump straight into it. I don't really have too much of a, okay, maybe do something, maybe we'll do something with the fire suit so his name sticks out on the, on the belt loop thing. Uh, camo is... Okay, that's kind of like the color theme we're going to be going with, so we'll go with that. Alright, you know, save and start the career. And now we're going to be doing stuff like basic R&D or whatever. I don't know. I did the career mode like off camera a couple days ago. Not, like, not not even like 24 hours ago. And I'm already forgetting like stuff. So that's that's almost, almost like a sign to come for just me being stupid in this career mode. So... I'm sorry. I know this is taking too long. I I, I know I got, I got flack. I'm still getting flack for that for my Heat 5 career mode where that was like, I'm sorry. The search for pay dirt. You start your own racing team. It takes a lot of a lot to build one from the ground up in order to succeed. You need to win races, invest in vehicles and personnel and earn fans to expand your HQ into new regions. So, hometown start. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of just the local racing stuff and the, uh, the dirt's the, the, the street stocks, from what I've heard in comments and stuff, it seems like street talk stocks are the best to kind of go with, it's the best to start off. And it, it's it's funner to drive than the other ones, so we'll definitely go with that. So, yeah. Local start, it gave us 10,000 right from the start. Already, this game is not realistic because if this was me, I would be like negative 10,000. I don't know, I'm trying. But, alright. Yeah. So, time to choose. We're going to go with street stock. I mean, it is kind of cool you get to pick like which series you want to start off as. I don't know, it's, it's an option. It's cool. We'll go with Street Stock. We'll purchase one. Purchase one. And with that, we got a car. I'm going to... Can I even... Oh, I can edit the paint job. We'll edit it, the paint job. We'll throw some basic stuff on it and uh, go from there. This will probably be the only part of the process I'll show. It's just the car number. Basically, the origin is that's George Superg's sprint car number it was 87. There was a specific reason why he chose that number. I don't remember the reason, but that's kind of what I've I've always been familiar with, and it was always that kind of like font. So uh, yeah, and then the actual color of it was black, and then the uh, it was not hexagon, but then the uh, the outside of it was like white, so yeah. Everything else we'll kind of just do off off camera. Well, I mean, I am on camera now, but like off camera, and like I don't. Th this will be like the uninteresting part, so I'll I'll get that over with, or I'll get that done. This is a this is not really an accurate representation of a sprint car. Obviously, um, there's really no accurate ones to m match it. It was pretty basic originally back in the day, but I mean, it almost looks like a Marlboro car. <laughs> Um, that really wasn't part of the plan, but once we get into like actual sprint cars, is we can kind of make one a little more similar to the original, like the design that I have probably on screen somewhere that's lurking around. Because if I don't explain any context, then how am I gonna? I don't know. But we're gonna make it not have any sponsors, just to uh, no contingencies to make it a little realistic because we're just starting off. Maybe at some point we'll add some. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But with that, that's about everything we'll do to it. So that's our basic design. That's what we're going to stick with for the uh, for this. And then we'll get to work on any R&D stuff, or at least look at it first. So we'll take, a, we'll take a gander at it. Actually, I can't. I can't do anything. So I think we'll just... Hmm. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll just... Do our first street stock race and probably suck ass. Kokomo to kick off local street stock season. I love racing my whole life and now I'm actually competing. Declared new racer George Super the third. Yeah. Yeah, but alright. <laughs> we'll try to accomplish something. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, it's slow. <laughs> it's so slow. From what I was noticing off camera when I was doing this uh, for the first time, at least early on, we're just going to be so slow to the point where we can't really take advantage of using the high side. We just got to kind of stick to the bottom. That seems to work out, so that's going to be my approach. I mean, all we really got to do is just get the basic lap times. You know, get, uh, you know, get whatever our goal time is just to get some extra cash. I'll probably not show any of that because I, I don't think it'll be very interesting, but... It'll just be, it'll be a little bit of extra practice for me off camera, or off, well, it'll be in camera, but off camera editing, I don't know, but our gold time was a 15.6, and we got 15.2, so we accomplished something, so that's good, I mean, we're kind of sucking ass, we're going very slow, and everything about it is not practically ideal, but you know, it's not really about where we finish, or where we start, it's about the experience. I'm sure Drew, uh, Drew Dollar has said that before <laughs> when he has bad days. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get into qualifying. Try to, I don't know, not finish last. <laughs> I guess that's our goal. Off the last corner. It's not really a pull time. It's not setting the world on fire. We're 36. Oh, my. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to put some kind of upgrades in this car at some point. We're not last, so that's the most important thing. In fact, I was doing this originally in my off-camera attempt. We, we got last, so this is actually much better than our original attempt. And we got heat, so we're going to eat four. Top five advantage to the A-Main. No way in hell we're going to get to that, but we'll try not to get last. <laughs> that's like the theme of the video. I don't want to be that guy. I don't know who thought purple and red on that car looked good, but, you know, who am I to judge? And I died <laughs> to first corner. First, <laughs> first corner, first lap of the career mode, and I just dumped someone. Oh, no. Really? Is that how we're going to start off? I probably got damage from that because this car is so stupid sensitive with damage. No, I didn't. Shockingly. Well, I don't really know what on earth the difficulty even is to start this off. I think, I mean, it's got my, It's. it looks like it's a 50% race where it has 15 laps, so that's about as much as I know. We're not, we're on dead last. We're almost about to get sixth or seventh. Like I said, the thing is so slow, it just, it's just faster to go around the bomb because if we go to the top, we're just going to lose too much speed. But yeah, we're actually ahead of somebody. So it just, okay, it just looks like we're just going to finish 8th. I'm not going to get any more spots. Here's the last corner. It looks like that guy behind me was trying to do something, but couldn't catch me. Luckily, we didn't have any more laps to put up with that because, yeah, we probably would have gotten last. So we're in the B main starting 12th. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I guess speaking about, like, race length and stuff, that's something we're going to probably... I'll probably mention here. So at least when we're starting off, these will be 50% races, and then as we go up, maybe we'll get them like a little bit longer, like 60%, 80%, and then like maybe 100 when we get to the actual like sprint car series. But for now, we'll keep it at like 50. I feel like that's a decent enough race length because I was trying it originally at like 30, and the races were just going by way too quick. So I guess that's the plan. I already got damage on the star, so there goes a percent of our damage. And we'll just kind of see where we finish here. So we got uh, 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 we got 20 cars here. And we're just about mid-pack. I don't know what the difficulty is set to, like I was saying. I think it's set to 100, which is, I think, still pretty damn tough. So, yeah, I feel like that's going to be a pretty good balance. Yeah. God, just don't, just got to get out of this race unscathed as much as possible. We're already just about to crack in the top 10. Car, I mean, I'm trying to not let it slide and like burn off the momentum as much, but it, you know, it just it just sucks. It's almost it almost hurts us to even slide. <laughs> it's just better to not even do that. But yeah, like I was saying, keeping it to the bottom seems to be about the best approach. I mean, once we get faster stuff, probably the outside line will work a lot more, but not at the moment. And it, all right, it just, it just looks like we're just gonna. No, wait, hold on, we're gonna gain some more spots. 
No, that's that's eighth. Nope, that's tenth still. I'm kind of curious where, like, how much money we'll get from just this. Maybe it's kind of important to get a good start off to the Kuruma, like finish the best possible to get as much money. I'm thinking like it's Daytona or something, but I don't think it works that way. That was a terrible corner. Didn't really, kind of, didn't, I'm not really gonna. I mean, we're eighth. That's that's pretty decent for a slapdash team that just came out of nowhere getting running this all right is pretty commendable oh there's some contact there you see that you see that fire reaction up there it, they, they were going so slow it didn't even really amount to anything but yeah we're just chilling in eighth it's pretty straightforward and white flags out can we even get to seventh that's uh might happen maybe right at the line Nah, he's gonna get it. Oh! Alright, fine. We'll take eight. Now, we'll, now we'll, I guess we'll just see how much money we'll earn from that. Alrighty. Finishing results, obviously. Uh, let's see if, if uh, this, this menu shows how much money we earn. No, it doesn't. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll have to go back to the menu to find that out. Smooth driving! I, I'll, I'll take that. 2300. Gained 159 fans. Hooray! <laughs> and anything else? Uh, no, okay. Uh, we've got Grant Park as our next race. So it looks like it's going to be like a normal like full season. By looks of it. Uh, repair stuff for $33. That's pretty damn cheap. Uh, anything to do here? Yeah, this is the R&D stuff. Or at least, you know. Parts, so uh, parts, display a cru crucial role in your vehicle's performance and durability. Purchasing and upgrading parts is key to success. Alright, purchasing parts. Purchasing a high level parts provides increased performance potential. Full potential can only be achieved by upgrading it once installed. Okay. Uh, upgrading parts. Parts can be upgraded three times, with each upgrade providing unique benefits. Upgrading parts is the most effective. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit different than what I was expecting originally. So, you have to basically buy, like, level one, for example, and then you buy, like, you know, the like those three upgrades. So, it's a little more different. So, it looks like that. I don't know if that was free to start off or what exactly, but it looks like we can purchase all of this level one stuff. So, yeah. And you might be thinking, like, hey, why don't you check out the other stuff? Uh, it goes in order, like the tires are the cheapest stuff, and then it works its way down to the tires, or then to the engines being the most expensive, so pretty much going from the top to bottom is about the best approach it looks like, so at least in terms of cost effectiveness, it seems to be about, you know, seems to be, to be a good idea, just going down the, the ladder. So we'll purchase all this stuff, and we should have enough to maybe buy that level 2 suspension, or whatever's next up on the list. And kind of go from there. At least as far as the R&D stuff with this portion, at least with this series, it's pretty simple. Like, it's not super duper time consuming. or It, it feels very good for like an entry level thing to start off with. And I'm assuming as you go up through the ranks, it might just take longer to upgrade stuff. But for this one, it's pretty good with uh, buying stuff. I didn't even see any... Maybe the level ones are free? I don't know. Yeah, we can purchase a good bunch of this stuff. I don't know if we can max everything on level 1 right away, but... I mean, all these are pretty cheap, all things considered. So that's all of that for level 1 for the suspension. Uh, chassis... How much... Yeah, I guess level 1s are just free, so you really have to only buy the, the, the upgrades. So I guess that's good to know. And all these are, again, pretty cheap, so I don't know if we're going to be able to max everything out here, but... I mean... We'll definitely go into the next race with, you know, pretty good stuff. Uh, can't max the engines out, but we can get one of these upgrades. And then we're only at 305, and then we're about 150 short for that, so. Alright, well, we got about 16% of the car upgraded. So, alright. And our next upgrade, or at least the next race, we should be able to max everything out for the engine, and then kind of begin some stuff for level 2. 
Um, the only thing I don't know of, at least as far as I've gotten to the point, I've only, like, off camera, I was only able to do, like, maybe, like, one full season just to kind of get a feel for, like, the game and just other stuff. So I don't know what goes beyond, like, this stuff here, like, the regional access and national. Like, I haven't got that far, so I don't know what happens, like, once you level up to, you know, max everything out level three. Like, how does that happen? I'm assuming you just quite literally, you know, once you get to the regional stuff, then you can get these, which are obviously unlocked, so. Maybe it's, like, once you win the uh, the regional, like, championship, or once we get, get to a certain amount of fran fans, because there's 7,500 there, so I, I'm assuming once you get to that and, like, a certain amount of championships, I think that's how it goes. I don't know. Um, career options, this will be our difficulty stuff, so. The first race doesn't show it, but I guess it was at 100, which, yeah. Uh, full damage for that. I don't know if it was on light damage for the first one. I don't know. Um, but we'll go with uh, strict yellows for these. Obviously, if we go up to the higher and faster speeds, we'll probably have those be more relaxed. But for now, we'll keep that as, uh, as strict. Everything else left the default for the AI settings and the uh, stability we have at 15 just to keep it a little more stable because on a controller, it's just really hard. Um, there are some... That's really like the only assist I have in the game, so I'm sorry. I wish I can go the full, like, 100% hardcore, but I only I have to go with, like, a 90%, so I'm sorry. So that should help it out a little bit. Um, that's really about the only thing. That as, far, as far as, like, the actual driving help, that's that's it. I'm sorry. So if you don't like that, um, I don't blame you for leaving. I would, too, because this, it's not, I'm not a hardcore man. So, um... Yeah, then we got uh, 11 races in this. And from what I did off camera, when I finished like a season, you're able to choose like you know how many races you want a season. And this is like the most, which I think is fine with the dirt card, with the street stock stuff, because you you don't you know, want it to be like, you know, like a 40 race season and everything. I feel like with the entry level stuff it should be like a shorter amount of races and as you move up you get more races in the season kind of like how um dirt Daytona was where the, the uh the uh the dirt dirt ones were like 10 races and then the modifieds were like 14 and then you moved up to like 16 for trucks and then like 32 for cup it was i don't know something like that so i'm assuming this is kind of what that is based on i don't know i just think it's nice that as you move up you you have more races in the season this is hot <laughs> this is hot. All the stats, all in. I mean, it's everything I ever wanted in a in a heat game. It's just painful that just it's just never gonna happen because the heat series is not made by Monster Games anymore. So, but yeah, this is really really freaking nice. You get to organize it. You can like categorize it, or you can click Y. It will put everything from, like, highest to lowest, or lowest to highest, it looks like, so you can organize it. Um, wins, top fives, top tens, top twenties, average finish, races, and points, and then you can go by, I believe, by person. But I don't know if it's in this one, or if it's in the, it's probably, I think it's in the schedule? I think it was somewhere, maybe I'm thinking of something else, but we do got normal stats for ourselves. So, uh, where, where would that be again? Oh my god, I didn't even see this part when I was playing this originally. So, you get, like, lifetime stats. God damn, that's awesome. So, lifetime wins, lifetime races, uh, championship. There's, like, a whole lore of stuff here. Just on this alone, so there's the street stock stuff. You can focus on yourself so you can see where you rank, and it's, like, Oh my god, that's awesome. All of this in a sprint car game. I just, I didn't expect this level of just detail from a first, I mean, I can't say first year, but like, that's so freaking cool. Okay, there's nothing. Oh yeah, there is some stuff for late model. So I wonder how accurate the World of Outlaws stuff is. Like how this all like, you know, if, if this is all like accurate or if this goes up to like 2021 maybe. But this would be it just I never thought I don't know just wild it's really cool to kind of see all this especially for someone like me that isn't super duper knowledgeable about sprint cars just to kind of see all this 
Like, it just really puts into perspective, like, you know, for example, like, wow, Sammy Swindell did 2,000 races. Like, holy Christ, that many wins. And it's like, wow, and you get to look at all this. It's neat. That's really cool. So, yeah. I don't know what really to say. It's just really freaking cool. And, yeah, this is our stat. So, it's in the driver HQ thing, so. Yeah. Um, maybe when you go in a different series, this there's, like, more stuff here. I don't know. But you can go back, like, season to season and look at stuff, so I think that's going to be nice. I mean, just... It's insane. Just, there's so much shit here. I don't know how it's all going to work when we get to, uh, you know, like, once we win, like, a local... Like, do we have to win two local championships to get to regional? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like by the time I win my first championship, I don't know if I want to keep, like, just... I don't know if I'll, like, do, like, a season off-camera to win a championship, or how it's all going to work. Because if I do everything, like, quite literally, it would take... Like 200 episodes to, to get to everything if I show everything. So I don't know how I'm going to structure it or like what I'm going to show and what I don't show. I th I'll definitely show everything up until I win a championship. And then maybe I'll do some off-camera stuff just to move up to the next, next series or something. And just do a little like recap or ex explain like what happened. And just, I don't know. I don't know how I'm all going to do that. I'm trying to think way too far ahead. But for now, all we just really have to do is just, <laughs> just get through the series get through the street stuff, get through this first season and kind of go from there. I know I only did one race in this episode, but there's a lot to talk about, a lot of different stuff. I don't want, these episodes are going to be pretty lengthy in general, and there's not going to be too, as much cuts because there's already, <laughs> they're racing, there's always so much to talk about during the race, and there's always something going on, so there's not going to be as much dead air to cut out, so it might be like a shorter recording time, but you're going to get more in a video, maybe, I don't know, but yeah. Um, with that, we're going to wrap up today's episode. That was already a lot to digest with just all this different stuff. I mean, there is so much here. I mean, it is amazing. I I mean, the game's got some jank with the, a little bit of the AI, but... Wow, look at the... So, regional HP uh, expansion details. So, uh, you get new regional tracks once you get to that. New 360 sprint pro late model vehicles. Ooh! I wonder, do you have to run every single vehicle in the game? Or can you actually, like, jump around? Like, can I go from, like, a like a, like a street stock to, like, a pro late model? Like, do I not... Do I have to do the 360 sprints? Like, is it necessary? Ability to hire drivers to race for you. Ooh. We'll get all that. We'll get to that at some point. But we'll focus on the local stuff for now. So with that, I guess we'll wrap up the episode. Based on my two, three Patreon supporters at Down Rounds, Kamikaze Games, Dave French, Champ 15, NASCARMERSA.org, Billy Kier, Golf Girl 100, Emilio Bebzer, Mexican League 196, Mark Harmon, and Akbar Fan 5556 for support. Again, I really appreciate what you guys do for your channel every single month and everything. It does me a lot. Always goes a long way. So just thank you so much and really appreciate it. And hopefully you're on board for this probably long journey. I don't know if it'll be my longest Let's Play series ever, but I think Triple Digits is probably going to happen. That'll do it for me. I don't know how many races I'll do per episode. Maybe two or three. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. But for now, this will be it. So hopefully you enjoy this series. Sorry that it took so long to kind of start this series up. I really didn't think these videos would do as good as they've been. So uh, you, you proved me wrong. So, I mean, if you want more career mode, leave a like, support the series, and, you know, I'll continue on. So, yeah. That'll do it for me. I'll see you all next episode. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.